Maryland Lieutenant Governor Runa Miller made history in ways this country has never seen before. She's the first woman of color, Lieutenant Governor of Maryland, the first South Asian woman in the role in the nation and statewide, and she's also the first immigrant. Here's my conversation with the Lieutenant Governor as we celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Talk to us about the moments leading up to taking in, taking the oath of office, the emotions that you felt and the thoughts that you had. I have to tell you, on election night, I remember going back to the hotel room after all the celebrations. My husband and I looked at each other and I said, I'm afraid to go to bed. I go, because I'm afraid that when I wake up, this is all gonna be a dream. Oh. And we stayed up till five in the morning because I literally was so scared to go to bed. But then I woke up after a couple of hours and I'm like, I cannot believe this moment is happening right now. So Tasmin, it has been such a, a humbling moment for me and nothing that I could have ever imagined for myself as a child. I mean, the universe, Maryland voters, Governor Moore gave me a dream that I never ever thought was possible in my lifetime. All right, so I wanna bring up something. You posted this photo on your Instagram. It's a seven-year-old Aruna Miller. What would you tell this girl today, and not just her, but other multicultural girls and boys, um, people who are just trying to navigate between their identities of being South Asian and American or Asian and American? I would tell them to be their authentic self in every space. I spent a long time in my life trying to fit into a space that was conceived by others. And it was a struggle, right? Whether it was an immigrant child coming to this uh, new country where the language was different, the people didn't look like me, or myself as an engineer in a male-dominated field, or as a woman legislator in a primarily male-dominated field again. And I realized over the years that it isn't about fitting into a space that others have created. It's about being your authentic self. You know, go ahead and embrace your unique strength. Even if it doesn't look like anybody else's, don't try to fit in always just because the world wants you to be like them and look like them. Be your authentic self in every way. And the final thing I would tell my younger self and every little boy and girl, that's trying to make their way through the world is that trust the universe. There's gonna be moments in your life that things don't turn out the way that you hope that they will, but there's a bigger plan, one that we could never imagine. I've had failures in life and setbacks, and I thought that was the end of the road. It's not. It's helping you to build to where you need to be, so trust the universe. And uh, talk to us about representing the South Asian community in Maryland, what you're doing now to help South Asian and Asian and minority businesses, women and families in Maryland. Sure, I think every single time a minority candidate steps up to the plate and runs for office, I think that alone changes the trajectory how people then all of a sudden, minority communities engage with government, engage civically, and whether or not they wanna run for office one day. One area in which the Moore-Miller administration is trying to address for minorities is their, uh, is their opportunity to economic strengths, right? So one is in the minority business enterprise. In the state of Maryland, we have a goal that 29% of procurement contracts should go to women-owned businesses, veteran-owned businesses, minority-owned businesses. But the fact of the matter is, we've never hit that goal. We're maybe you know in the teens area. So Governor Moore uh, released an executive order that requires every one of our departments, over 70 agencies, to first review their agencies and why are we not meeting this goal and how are you gonna meet this goal? So I think that's gonna play a huge role in economic opportunity to level the playing field for minority-owned businesses.